Straight out of section 10.2, we're doing calculus with parametrized curves. This is some kind of parametrized curve. I didn't even bother to figure out what shape it makes. I'm supposed to figure out all points P and which the tangent line to this curve is parallel to this line. And the line is even given parametrically. Now I could do some monkey business and like rewrite this as an equation and figure out the slope. Or I could just use the formula for the derivative of a parametrized curve for both of these things and move on with my life, which is what I'm going to do. So here's what I'm solving. I'm looking for all the points where the slope of the line is equal to the slope of the tangent line to the curve. And this is the formula for slope of tangent line given in the learning module. When you have a parametrized curve, you do dy dt over dx dt, bam, you've got your derivative formula. So notice how the slope of the line pops right out when I use that. dy dt is 2, dx dt is negative 1, and the slope of this line is going to be negative 2. That's awesome. It's also easy to do the derivative on the right-hand side. So dy dt is equal to negative 60, no problems there. And dx dt is 3x squared minus 6. I've got an equation to solve. That's super exciting. I'm going to make sure that plus or minus uh, radical 2 is excluded from my solutions. I don't want them to count as valid because uh, this expression is undefined at those places. Um, I'm always careful to do that before I multiply. I might be adding solutions that are not there when I cross multiply. So now that I've made that note to myself, I'm going to cross multiply. And then I'm going to distribute and rearrange and make everything pretty. And then I'm going to factor this out real nice. It tends to fa it factors out, no problem. And my solutions here are t equals negative 1 comma 2. And I'm feeling really good. I'm going to take those t's and I'm going to substitute them right here. Not, not here. I don't care about the line. I want the point on the curve. So I'm going to substitute those and I get p equals 5. That's negative 1 substituted into here. Comma, negative 3. Substitute that negative 1 into here. And also, negative 4, comma, negative 12. That's the uh, positive 2 substituted into these two curves.